Sometimes uh, we get a tour of homes available in the area. Other times we learn a thing or two about buying and selling a house. And Dot Frank is a realtor with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Alliance Group. And today we're talking about the value of working with an agent. Good morning, Dot. Good morning. Good morning. You just happen to be an agent. <laughs> I just happen to be an agent. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so hopefully I can demonstrate some value today. Oh, absolutely. Before we talk about the value of an agent, let me ask you this. You know, we had such a mild winter, you know, compared to a year ago. But but are people more likely to get into the home buying and selling spirit come springtime? Oh, absolutely. I think there's something to be said about spring fever. Mm -hmm. A lot of it comes down to kind of the physicality of sure. a move. Right? I mean, who wants yeah. to trudge through snow with boxes and furniture and mm -hmm. everything else that comes along with, with a move? And so I think spring fever really kicks in. Um, I think people are anxious to have some action and activity, not mm -hmm. just in real estate, just right. in life in general. Mm -hmm. And so we do tend to see an uptick in not only listing availability in the, in the spring, um, but also an interest to pursue right. uh, some, some home ownership in the spring as well. I want to know here, Dot, how do I find that realtor that helps me out with the value? Because I look at Zillow sometimes and I'm like, I don't know where to start. I like this house. But who do I call? Where do I start? How do I find that perfect person that can help me out? Yeah, I mean, so there's a lot of ways and opportunities for people to meet agents, um, especially now. Uh, probably one of the, the quickest and easiest ways to establish a relationship with an agent um, or kind of interview an agent is to attend open houses, mm, right? True. So if you don't have a relationship with an agent already, you know, bop into some open houses and talk to the agents who are staffing them to get a feel for their personality, um, their approach to real estate. State, uh, their style of communication. So that's a really good way to kind of interview agents. Mm -hmm. Again, our business is really based on referrals. So ask friends and family, who have you worked yeah. with? What was that experience like? Would you recommend them? Mm -hmm. um, and so I think it's really important that you give yourself some time to talk to a handful of agents. One of the beauties of bigger brokerages like Better Homes and Gardens Alliance mm -hmm. Group is that we've got 32 of us in one right. office. Yeah. So a stop at our office would allow you to talk to a ton of agents <laughs> who would be more than happy to right. help you, but we're all very unique in our approach to real estate, which is a good thing because right. um, that way we can really connect with individuals in a different way. Sounds like you need to set up a speed dating thing. For yeah, but, hey, that's an idea. You get three that's minutes an idea. with each agent and you just yes. move from one to the other and you say, I picked that one. I might have to work on that. There you yeah. go. Okay, Dot, now I know that there's no such thing as a normal day for an agent, but what is the day in the life of an agent like generally? Yeah, I think that a lot of people have this impression that you know, an agent simply shows up to sign paperwork, put a sign in your yard, mm -hmm. and then attend a closing. <laughs> um, but, you know, agency work is so much broader than that. I mean, we really are jacks of all trades. We know need to know a little bit about everything, not only from how to hunt for a house, how to uncover ownership, how to read tax statements, how to determine what types of liens might be on a property, um, what contracts mean and the language within them. You know, keep in mind that this is a huge transaction and a commitment for individuals mm -hmm. and the contract alone is 10 pages yeah. you know and a lot of times people just like to sign and smile we're reading <laughs> those terms and deciphering what it means um, you know showing houses arranging the the showing times mm -hmm. um, meeting inspectors interpreting and helping guide people through the inspection process appraisals I mean it goes on and on and I right. wanted to share you know one thing that I think right. is a really good representation of the work we do is a lot of people think about again agents listing houses and maybe um, showing houses and signing documents at the end of the day, but this cylinder represents mm. the 179 things agents do on wow. average. For one to, house. <laughs> yes, for one transaction yeah. to help people. Um, and there's a really great resource from the National Association um, of Realtors that talks about the 179 ways agents mm. really help buyers and sellers. We have it available on our website, which is through that flow code. Mm. If you scan that, you'll be able to access that document and really get a sense for what your agent is doing for you behind the scenes um, really serving as an advocate and keeping your best interests in mind. You so know what, you know what, Heidi, I, I knowing Dot, I'll bet you there are 179. <laughs> there so there. okay, I I cannot tell a lie, right? So back at the office, our broker Lane Huber counted out 179. I believe it. Right I we had it. someone who stopped in the office, and I was distracted, and he went to grab one, and I said, No, <laughs> no, no, this is 179. No ceiling it, Wayne. That's right, no. So so it's a little bit more than just what Selling Sunset oh. has on. 
TV. Absolutely, much. absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so that time flies. It really, really does. And there's so many other things that we could talk about. So we're anxious to have you back in two weeks. Yes. So where can we find more information about real estate and better homes? Yeah, and so definitely Alliance. more information is available at bhgalliancegroup.com. You can find us on all social sites. Give us a call at 222-2217 um, and let's start the yeah. house hunt. Now is the perfect time yeah. to pursue home ownership for Absolutely. sure. And you're right, people are going to be wanting to get out and go into open houses and doing those kind of things. One of the things I want to talk to you about next time that you're here in a couple of weeks, I did want to touch about because everything is online now, yeah. what's the role in the future of the realtor yeah. and how it stays important? Absolutely. To Stay tuned, part two. Right? Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Dot. Thanks so much. We appreciate your time.